I laid on my bed and tried to block out the sounds of my parents arguing in the room next door. But that even sucks. the music I was playing wasn't as loud as their raised voices. Mm. You are so controlling. I can't stand it. Well, I wouldn't have to control you if you weren't so untrustworthy. What have I ever done to make you not trust me? Where do I begin? That's it. Awkward. I'm not going to take this anymore. We are over. But Ooh. before I go on, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't have to experience the horrors that I found next. I heard a knock at my bedroom door. Come in. It was my mom. Tana, I need to talk to you about something. I could tell by my mom's face that it was something serious. She looks like what a pig. What is it, mom? Your dad and I are getting a divorce. Aww. I was really shocked. I just want to say this. I'm sorry if you guys have ever had to go through that. Like, especially when you're young, your parents getting divorced. It's really complicated. There's a lot of things that you probably don't understand yet. But just so you know, they still love you no matter what. But yeah, just wanted to say that. Sorry, I'm trying to be all serious ill. Let's get back to the funny stuff. <laughs> of course, I knew they had been arguing a lot recently, but the last thing I expected was for them to get divorced. Why? We haven't been getting along recently. It will be better for all of us in the long run. The next day, my dad moved out. I watched Aww. from the window as he packed his suitcase and things into the car. Don't worry, Tana. You can come and see me whenever you want. You'll hardly notice I'm gone. I gave dad a hug and waved <laughs> goodbye to him. So sad. I did see dad a couple of times over the next week or so, but slowly his calls came less frequently and Aww. weeks went by without him wanting to see me. It wasn't long before we didn't have any relationship at all. It was just me and my mom. Mom wasn't handling being alone very well. She had always had my dad and she was finding Not it a pretty really face. hard to be single. If only she could find a boyfriend, I'm sure she would be happy then. At the weekend, I went to the mall with some of my friends. It was when we stopped to buy a drink at one of the stands, I got chatting to a really nice guy. He was about my mom's age. I found myself telling him all about my mom. Maybe you should take my number. Ask her to give me a call. That would be great. Thanks, I will. No, don't try to set people up for your parents. That's weird. It's inappropriate. And it's not going to work out. Most likely. I wrote down his number. I couldn't wait to get home and tell mom the good news. Mom, I got you a date. I thought mom would be happy. But instead, she was just embarrassed. Tana, that's so embarrassing. How could you do such a thing? I thought you would be happy. Anyway, I've arranged it now, so you have to go. Mom really didn't want to go on the date, but I finally managed to convince her to give it a go. I sent him a text and arranged for mom to meet him the next day. He but wanted when to mom came back hit from you the up. Date, she didn't look very happy. How was it? Horrible. But do you think you could help me find someone else again? Sure, mom. I'll try to find someone more suited to you. That is so weird to ask your daughter, go find me a boyfriend. You should have said no in the story before the first guy. <laughs> and said, don't meddle in my relationships. You're a little girl. I don't think they said how old she is right now. I know she's in high school, but she's not 18, I'm pretty sure. I went to the mall again and got mom a bunch of dates. She went on all of the dates, but she wasn't That's so happy weird. with any of them. He was so boring. He was selfish. He wasn't a gentleman. She always you go find something someone. bad hmm. to say about every date she went on. It started to get on my nerves. I thought that she was being too fussy. Can you help me find another date? I was fed up of looking for guys for mom and frustrated that she never seemed happy with any of them. Maybe you should try to find a guy yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you might be happy with the choice. Like a grown up. Tana, you had better help me find someone. I do everything for you. All I'm asking is for you to do one thing for me. Are you is serious? That too much to ask? But yeah. you never like the guys that I find for you. Well, you had better help me or I will be cutting your allowance and you'll be grounded. I had no choice but to do as she said. Every day after school, I had to go straight to the mall Girl. and try to get mom a date. I felt really miserable, especially when she never stayed with any of them. You know all those guys are trying to get with you. And then as soon as you say, oh, you want to get with my mom? They're like, oh, sure. I couldn't believe it. My own mom was using me to get guys. Mom was going on a different date every day. It was usually a dinner date too, so mom got a free meal whilst I was stuck at home on my own every night, having to make my own dinner. One night I was sitting in the kitchen eating my two minute noodles when I started to feel really angry. It's not fair. Mom is out having fun on another date whilst I'm stuck here. What if I mean that ramen I wanted good. to go out on a date? The more I thought about it, the angrier I got. 
I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a prank on mom. Ooh, I will do it. a really bad guy as a date. Ha! <laughs> That'll teach her. I searched the internet and found a company that hired out actors. I contacted them and arranged for one of their actors to go on a date with mom and act really mean to her. Maybe if she has a bad date, she will stop asking me to find I mean, guys maybe. for her. I arranged for the actor to meet mom at the as park. As long as he's not I too mean. I wanted to see what mom's reaction to the date would be. So I followed her to the park and hid behind a bush to watch. I watched as she walked over to the bench and sat down next he to the guy cute. sitting there. They started chatting away. Suddenly, a bunch of guys, all dressed in black, pulled up and grabbed mom. They threw Are you serious? her into the back of a van. I ran out from my hiding place and started screaming, Help! Help! Leave her alone! Who did you call for late. these the fake actors? Off, leaving me standing there in shock. Oh my god, what is happening? I pulled out my phone and called the actor, but he didn't answer. Did he plan this from the start? Okay, why do you have a this beard right now? Part of the act? To give mom a bad date. A, a, a little Maybe. extreme, no? I couldn't stand around and do nothing. It's a what little if extreme. Mom was really in danger. I called the police and told them exactly what I had witnessed. We will get some officers to look into it. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find your mom soon. No, they, but ain't. they didn't find her. Days went by and then weeks. There was no sign of mom at all. I began to fear for the worst. She had How are you taking care of yourself? Been missing what? for about 6 weeks when six I found weeks? the note. It was stuck onto the fridge door. If you want your mom back, Give us a million dollars. So cliche. I stood there. Like, get creative. Looking at the note in shock. How can they expect me to come up with that kind of money? We're not rich. I knew that there was only one way I could get the money. I would have to steal it. I began to make a plan. I decided that I would rob my local bank. I'd seen it done loads of times in Tell movies. Tell the cops. It didn't look that difficult. I bought a baseball bat and went to the Dang, bank when it seriously. was at its busiest. As soon as I walked into the bank, I started shouting at all the staff and the customers. Get down on the floor or you're gonna get hurt. Give me all your money. She looks like a, a vampire. Few customers dropped to the floor, but the staff just looked at me and started Because you look ridiculous. I'm serious. Put the money into this like bag. Like a kid in a Halloween she threw the costume. Back over the counter to one of the staff, but instead of putting money inside it, she pressed an alarm button and the doors locked automatically. Dummy, Two you had no plan. Later, I was surrounded oh. by armed guards. Violet, your you're coming with us. I did as they told me. She has a bat. There was no Chill. point in trying to escape. There was no way out. The guards tied me up until the police arrived. They took me to the police station and put me into a cell. I sat there all alone, feeling scared and lonely. I heard the cell door open and looked up. There's someone here to see you. I was shocked to see my mom standing in the doorway. She looked visibly upset. Hello? Tana, why would you rob a bank? To get the money to pay your ransom. Oh, Tana, it was all a hoax. I was never in danger. The actor that you paid to have a bad date with me contacted me and told me what you had asked him to do. You snitch. He felt bad for me. We decided we would fake a kidnapping to trick too you young and get you. you back a little. The actor put that fake note on the fridge door. We just wanted to give you a bit of a scare. Are you serious? You abandoned your child for six weeks and let her get arrested and possibly starve and not be able to pay rent? You are a terrible mother. You're insane. And you're getting with the guy who's probably half your age. See? How could you do this to me? I've been worried sick about you. I began to understand why my dad had left my mom. Uh -huh. She's obviously insane. She well, nuts. I hope you're happy with yourself. Thanks to you, I'm now going to jail. I spent two years in prison. I spent most she of the can't time thinking get her about out? how I was going to get revenge on mom for putting me in there. What when you the gonna day do? came for me to be released, mom came to pick me up. Tana, finally you are free to come home. She actually spent two years mom, in jail. Even though inside I was raging. I needed to pretend everything was fine between us. At least until the right time Played came smart. to get my revenge. I've got a surprise for you when we get home. What is it? You'll have to wait and see. As we drove home, I wondered what the surprise could be. Maybe she's throwing me a welcome home party? But when I walked through the door, my heart sank. <laughs> The actor that had helped my mom was sitting in our lounge, and he looked like he was really comfy there. Is Tony she really? and I are living together now. I looked at my mom in shock. I was furious with them both. Whilst are I you had serious? Spent the last two years in that miserable prison, they had been playing all lovey-dovey. I hid my anger and forced a smile onto my face. Girl, That's kill him. great news. I'm so pleased for the both of you. I told them that I was tired and excused myself. You're a good actor. When I got actor. up to my room, I couldn't stop thinking about how much I hated them both. 
I don't care what it takes. I'm going to make them pay for what they did to me. I knew what I was going to do. The following day, Mom and Tony said they were going out for dinner. As soon as they left the house, I called my dad. Hi, Dad. Listen, can you come over? Mom's out, and I want to talk to you about it's something. It's been a long time. Sure, Tana. I'll be there soon. I heard Dad's car pull up, and I went and opened the door. Hi, Dad. Come in. My dad sat down on the sofa, and I told him all about what Mom and Tony had done. I always wondered why you would try to rob a bank. It wasn't in your nature. I only did it to try and save Mom, but it ended up costing me two years of my life. Suddenly, the door opened, and Mom and Tony walked in. Brian? What are you doing here? I asked him to come over. I've told him everything. My dad grabbed the baseball bat and dragged Tony down the stairs and into the basement. Mom started- He woke up today and chose violence. Dang, he dragged him down the stairs. What you gonna do? Screaming and pleading with me. Please, Tana, you have to tell your dad to stop. Don't let him hurt Tony. Are I'm you not serious? telling dad anything. But I thought we'd forgiven each other. I haven't- You let me rot in jail, girl. We're not even. You, you two ruined my life. We could hear a commotion coming from the basement, and then everything went quiet. A few Can seconds later, Dad came back ah! into the lounge. He was covered in blood. Straight what up murdered him! To Tony? What do you think I've done? Dad stuck his finger into the blood and licked it. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Ew. <laughs> it's just tomato sauce, Mom. Dad pulled Tony back out of the basement. He That's funny. He was shaken, but otherwise, he was fine. Dad agreed to help me prank you to get back at you. Mom looked like a ghost. I thought you'd killed him. Of course we wouldn't kill you. You don't think I would risk going back to jail, do you? You're not worth it. I picked up my bag and grabbed my coat. Take a good look at me, because this is the last time you will ever see me. What do you mean? Deuces. Are you going to live with your dad? What? Him? No way. I turned and looked at my dad, who seems shocked now as well. You didn't want anything to do with me after you and mom divorced. Yeah. I was like, I no longer existed. I don't want to live with either of you. I'm going to live by myself. See us. I strolled out of the house. And never looked back. Good for you. They both crazy. But yeah, go ahead, click screen, watch another video, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know why my voice got so high pitched. I have a little, uh, I had a lot of coffee. Bye.